The world once again is preparing for the end of the world. The year 2012 has many embracing for an apocalyptic doomsday. According to the Mayan calendar, the Mayans believe that everything occurred in cycles. Their calendar spanned five cycles and each lasted approximately 5,200 years. At the end of each cycle, the Mayan believed the current flawed creation had to be destroyed for the world to be born again. Some believe that the end of the current cycle on December 21st, 2012 is an apocalyptic sign. Is this truth or more hype that the new age is preparing the world for? Almost nine years ago, Christians were warning us about the end of the world called Y2K. Even before this, man has been concerned about what was going to happen at the turn of the century. Churches were filled with frightened individuals waiting for Judgment Day. Hollywood especially is cashing in on the 2012 hype wagon. In the film 2012 from director Roland Emmerich, who has brought us such films as Independence Day, The Day After Tomorrow. In 2012, we witnessed the world being destroyed by tsunamis, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. The prophecies of Norsadamus of the Mayans have set to predict the future of a massive shift in the earth. This phenomenon is called pole shift, in which the entire mantle of the Earth would shift in a matter of days, changing the position of the North and South Pole. That will cause all matter of destruction and devastation to our planet. Many around the world believe it will cause the Earth poles to shift, signaling the end of the world. While millions around the world are preparing for the date, there are millions more who don't believe the theory. Amid panic and thousands of questions, NASA has responded, labeling the theory's lies. Everyone seems to be jumping on the 2012 doomsday bandwagon. Is it the end of the world as we know it? Or will 2012 just be another Y2K event that will come and go and then everyone will adjust their charts once again? Well, the purpose of this documentary 
is to bring you some answers to many questions people have and bring clarity to the truth about 2012. Many are speculating that the world will end on December 20th, 2012. Just flip on your television and you will find documentaries on the it's History Channel, into space. Okay. the Discovery the Channel, explosions throw out much more movies and theaters, books, literature, seminars, and videos, YouTube videos, viral videos, and websites that are all promoting the 2012 apocalypse. In doing the research for this film, I wanted to find out how big this 2012 mania had become. By typing in 2012 in the Google search engine, I found that 2012 had 262 million results. Keywords included doomsday, end of the world, December 20th, 2012, Mayan calendar, polar shift, rapture, planet alignment, apocalypse, Armageddon, prophecy, Nostradamus, planet X, Naiburu, surviving groups, spiritual awakening, movie, disaster prediction theory, etc. With so many theories and ideas, how do we sort through them and bring clarity to this situation? Why are so many people so obsessed with doomsday and end of the world predictions? In 2007, we find that the New York Times spoke of the Mayan calendar. It goes on to say, the Mayan calendar is at the center of a cultural phenomenon. To some, 2012 will bring the end of the time. To others, it carries a promise of a new beginning. Still to others, 2012 provides an explanation for troubling new realities. Environmental change, for example, that seem to be beyond the control of our technology and impervious to reason. Just in time for the final five-year countdown, the Mayan apocalypse has come of age. How deep is this 2012 mania? Well, for instance, there are websites that actually have a countdown to 2012 so you can know how long we have until the end of the world. If you're happening to do research for 2012 and need books on the subject, you won't find them in the science aisle or astronomy or the nonfiction, but in the New Age section of the store. Here in the New Age section here in Barnes and Nobles, and we'll, we're looking towards the New Age section, and you will see that 2012, it's filled with 2012 books, and where are they found? In the New Age section, right? And as you move down further, you go from that to Astral Projection, 2012, The Secret, Sylvia Brown, and then on to Werewolves, Vampires, and the Unexplained, and Poltergeist, all found in the New Age section. So we see that the Paranormal is on the rise.